Oh, here it is, the newest addition to the Horde. Picked up another Chevette. This is a 76 with a 1.4 liter. Uh, you can see it's yellow. It has a hitch. It's kind of scary. Uh, it has a smashed in door. It has its fancy hubcaps. It's parked next to the other Chevette. The 77 with the 1.6. I'll give you the grand tour of this thing. Just picked it up out of York a couple days ago. Uh, interior is pretty decent in it. As far as the Chevette goes, and you know, still one piece. See, it's an automatic. Um, the other Chevette. Oh, that's nice. Look at that fit. Got a little modification here. The other Chevette Dyno 23 horsepower with a 1.6 liter, and that one's manual. So I have high hopes for this one being the worst motor, and the fact that it is a automatic. Yeah, you know, there's the 1.4 liter. I don't know what this diamond plate's for because someone's custom edition in the past. Um reason the guy sold this car was he actually had it for his daughter and one day she drove it home and the thing was billowing smoke out of the tailpipe. Uh, he pretty much condemned it as piston rings right away and when I unloaded off the trailer same thing as soon as you started it was a death cloud of smoke. So I added some of that magical ring goop to it and some uh, a new PCV and it still smoked. So I checked the oil and sure enough it had about nine quarts of oil in it. So I drained it out, put some 2050 in it, some new magical ring goo, and it still smoked. Well at that point I decided to take it for a ride around the block and knows it didn't shift on its own. So I thought about it, never had a car do this before, but I checked out let's see where to go. The vacuum modulator hose. Oh here it is. And you can see it's real squishy. And that's because it was sucking up trans fluid through this hose into that into that vacuum port right there. And it was pretty much uh, cleaning out the motor with trans fluid and creating a really thick white smoke out of the back of the car. Um, I unplugged that hose, no more smoke. Need a new vacuum modulator. The one I got from Napa today is of course wrong. I should have known better because no one else stocked the hose for it. Or rather, no one else stocked the modulator for it, and they did. So, there was a reason for that because they had the wrong one. The one they gave me slides in, this one, the one this car actually screws in. But, uh, I'll start it up for you and let you see the, the raw power here. Okay, here we go. This thing's kind of hard starting at first. I think maybe the choke shot or the gas is old. So. Give it the old pumperoo here. Some more pumps. Close. A few more pumps here. Oh, come on, almost there. There it goes. Nope, not quite yet. A little more pump. There we go. Now we got it. Give you a tour of the interior here. Um, has this awesome, I don't know what you want to call it, interior. What's that, hound stooth or something? Um, has a pineapple. Let's see what's going on out here. See that? No smoke. Runs like a champ. Actually, it runs uh, really quiet. There you go, 
so once I get uh, the proper transmission modulator, I'm going to put a classic plate on this thing and drive it around. So yeah, I might as well get it from its good side here. So yeah, more Chevette mayhem to come.